It's very difficult to actually say what sort of person would harm an animal. Somebody who's lacking in empathy, somebody who doesn't understand that animals can feel the same things as we can feel. You also get an awful lot of peer pressure, so you have teenage kids who think it's cool and fun and it just takes one, and other people get brought along and encouraged into doing it. Skip arrived to us last year. Um, in January of last year, the weather was really, really bad. He had been brought to us by the guards. They had found him the evening before in a skip. And whoever had left him in there had set him on fire. So he was really in a bad way. Break cruelty down into three different types. We basically have cruelty by neglect, which is where people don't bring an animal to the vet, they don't give it correct food, they don't give it shelter, they don't have a clean environment for the animal to live in. We get cruelty by ignorance, and that's where people go out of their way to buy an animal and they haven't done the research into how actually they're going to look after it. And then the last cruelty, which is obviously the most serious one, the one most people think about, is deliberate cruelty, where people are deliberately cruel to animals. You see cases where people have tried to set fire to animals, you see them where they have kicked them, they've stabbed them, and they have deliberately been cruel. That type of cruelty is, to me, the most worrying, because it shows a lack of empathy, which is worrying because it could easily go on to people hurting humans. He's only five months of puppy when he arrived to us. Um, his temperature was very low, he had burns to his face and around his chest area, he was very thin. So after uh, several weeks of treatment, I ended up fostering him. So bringing him home with me, bringing him into work, still under the care of the vets in here. And eventually then last April, I adopted him because I couldn't give him back. So he comes into work with me every day. But this is unfortunately a sign of what we see quite a bit. People, deliberate cruelty to animals maybe in their care, maybe not, they may have found him. He can't tell us his story. So unfortunately, I'm not able to say where exactly he came from, but I'm very glad to say that he ended up here with us in the DSPCA, where we cared for him. You have very mixed emotions when you see severe cruelty. Your first emotion, obviously, is repulsion. It's, it's horrific to see what's been done to the animal. You then get very, very upset and emotional about it, and, and there's is where the empathy comes in, how horrendous it is. Imagine if somebody did it to your pet. And you've got extreme anger as well, because how can somebody have got away with doing this? Education, at the end of the day, is the key. You can never have enough education, and the message can never be out there enough about people respecting animals and having empathy and understanding the way they feel. Yeah.